Hello everybody and welcome to No Man's Sky. This is Alan Paul. We're going to be doing the Anomaly video real quick tonight just to keep an eye on things. We've got things coming up. So as we do in every single episode on a Friday night, I give you some information about upcoming events for myself. Uh, I am going to be doing a live stream tomorrow night, Saturday night. That is going to be the 30th. Uh, sometime around 5 p.m. Watch for the uh, flag to pop up to tell you when it's going to be beginning. Uh, when it's going to begin, I should say. Um, next weekend's going to be a little different. We're going to have a lot of events going on on Friday and Saturday for the family, so I'm not going to be able to do the Anomaly video, most likely, on Friday. We'll see how early it can show up, because uh, I do have to leave way through the day. So we'll see what happens. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it again. We'll see what happens. I'm not quite... Uh, not quite sure about that. So anyway, but tomorrow night we're going to be doing a speed run of the Voyager expedition. Um, currently it looks like our record time is about an hour 30, hour and a half done by Delta One. Um, and I've got my time down to about an hour and 39 and that was just kind of a glitchy little run that I did. Um, so I'm looking forward to hopefully knocking it well under the hour and a half mark. We'll see how it goes. And that's with growing plants. I want to be very, very clear about that. Uh, so that's with the growing of the plants. It's not stealing plants from somebody else's base just to continue on. It's literally planting them, and waiting the hour for them to grow. So, going to be pretty good on that. So let's see what the anomaly mission has in store for us today. I got an inkling of what it is. I think Captain Steve may have already done it, but let's see what happens here. So as you know, as you look down, at, look at the nexus over there. You've got the icons on the right indicating you have three quicksilver missions you can do. Uh, as well as the top one, which indicates the weekend anomaly mission. So let's see what we got going on here. Simple fauna, taming wild creatures. At least that's what it says it's going to be. We get uh, 1,800 quicksilver as usual, explosive drones. Uh, we can also do this one for an extra 400 if you like to hunt pirates. So let's go ahead and get this one done. And start the mission. And off we go. Simple fauna, it's called. So we'll see what happens. I should have plenty of... Uh, uh, let's see, the, that's my ship. Food for the animals? Yeah, there it is, 34. I should be all right. All right, as we, wow, that's the blurriest I've ever seen my hyperspace. So, little key, don't be in your menu when you go into hyperspace and, and, and you're, as you're exiting the Nexus, I suppose, or the Anomaly. Very interesting, very interesting. There we go. There, I got my glasses on now. We can all see, right? <laughs> that was great. Imminent core detonation. I've never seen a planet with that. Oh, it looks like a good place you don't want to set up your base on. Anyway, where are we going? Uh, looks like it's down here. Oh, good. The miasmic planet that is uh, not quite far enough away from the core detonation planet, so that's going to be interesting. Imminent core detonation. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I've ever seen that particular description for a world before. All right, here we go. So, fauna dense planet, it says. Target planet reached. So, what I like to do is that literally it's aiming me at a location I can land at. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's weird. That was a weird... Uh, creation there. The, the landing pad is up above the actual buildings. I've only seen this happen once, so I wonder if I've been to this planet before. It makes me wonder. 42 creature uh, uh, planet. I can't talk. Let me try that again in English. We have to tame wildlife with creature pellets, and they need up to 42 of them. So that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, recharge my shield there. All right, let's take a look around and see how many creatures we got out here. Wow, okay, we got a running, walking cactus there. That's great. I'm looking for dense populations here. Okay, we got these little guys, which aren't really going to be helpful. We can't really feed them. Um, okay, also a weird-looking creature. Do we have anything normal around here? Three of 11? Yeah, more of those guys. They don't... You can't feed them, so that's going to be even more difficult. All right, I kind of expected more creatures here. Let's get down here, take a look around. 
All right. Now that we're down here. Wow. Yeah, there's not a lot going on around here. So this is going to be kind of a longer one. So if I'm not mistaken, I think I've got... That's not what I'm looking for. There we go. Nope, I don't have it set. We're going to set that to 5. No, nope, I should have set it to 6. Because 5 I have set to this normally. There we go. So we're going to use the 6 as my hotkey to feed these animals. And they all vanish on me, of course. Now, let's just go ahead and deposit one real quick. So that one's coming. I just want to see if these uh, tendril creatures will also be fed. Um, the bottom line is, is that it's going to take some time to befriend these creatures. I've only got one so far. We'll get him. And let's take a look and see if we can get him in a larger uh, growth. Okay, there is one of these tendril creatures over here. Let me just go ahead and take a look at him over here. And I got a new mechanical keyboard, so you're probably going to hear a lot of clacking going on over here. There we go. Okay. Yep, that one worked. Okay, so that's good. All right, let's see. So we got another creature over there. Looks like we got a couple of them. That might work out. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that only attracted one. So this might take a little bit. Ugh, those tendril creatures are kind of creepy looking, man. Yeah, stop bugging me, man. Got a, like an underground octopus there. I don't know what the world that is. All the little suckers and stuff. Okay, so we're up to a whopping five creatures fed. Yay. And all these little surface creatures that keep floating around. All right, looks like we're going to get a few out of that one. So that's pretty much the way this goes. There's literally not a whole lot you can do, but just sitting there and feeding these creatures and driving yourself up the wall to do it. So I guess... In order to pass the time, we can talk a little bit more about the Voyager Expedition. Now, I want to be very, very clear. I'm very, very excited about the Echoes update. The update itself has been fantastic. Really, really happy about it. I think they did a great job. Well done, Hello Games, if I may say so. Um, oh, what do you know? Another animal. Okay. Not a whole lot of animals floating around here, though. For a fauna, a fauna dense population, it's kind of a lacking is the word I'm looking for. Let's go someplace else. Let's see if we can find somewhere else that we can go. Maybe we should take our ship elsewhere as well. Because I kind of expected a whole bunch of animals to be floating around over here. But maybe if we find a different area. Let's try that. Let's get back to the ship. Drop a little piece of food down there and get one more while we're here. Oh, okay, that's one of those uh, uh, buildings that are protected. An installation, if you will. So we'll use this little place right here to get all the way up our hill. Wink. And back to our ship. Alright, let's just take it out a little bit further. I'm not going to worry about a landing pad this time. It's kind of a sparse, I think is a good word. Sparse landscape. Not a lot of vegetation. So without the vegetation, I wouldn't expect you to see a whole lot of animals. Oh, here, let's land over here. This looks okay. Clack, 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 clack. As you hear my keyboard in the background. Kind of like the keyboard, though. It was a very big surprise to get this keyboard um, with the deal I got on it. I didn't pay much money for it at all. 
and it turned out to be a pretty decent gaming keyboard. So we'll see how that goes. Echoes has been a great update, as I started to say. I um, really have enjoyed it. I, um, is that another animal right there? Yeah, that is. Son of a gun. That's why I must have viewed over there. Get you. Not one I'm going to adopt anytime soon. Why can't you guys be in herds? Because it'd make this ten times easier. And the Voyager expedition is interesting. It's a very smooth going expedition. There's no fighting involved. Um, you could see fighting if you decide to fight the pirates and things like that. And um, You decide to uh, get into the space battles, but you don't have to. There are ways out of the space battles that you don't have to worry about. So, If you want to see how it's done, I encourage you to watch me tomorrow night. Uh, Eastern time, that is. Usually about 5 o'clock, like I said. I usually do that on a Saturday night when, I, when I'm able to do it. Um... And these, the expedition goes pretty smooth. It's just, I think Delta One mentioned it, it requires a lot of bookkeeping. Basically, just keeping track of what you're doing and how it's going is really the hardest part about it all. Um, making sure you get all the, you know, the menu items and stuff like that. So, but anywho. All right. We need more animals. I saw something over there. What was that? Looked like it was a bird or something. Let's get another one of these cactus guys. Okay, that should get two more. And, you know, a lot of people have come... Uh, some people have come on. Let me say not a lot of people. Some people have come on and asked me, are you going to play Starfield? Uh, eventually, I might play Starfield. It's not one I'm going to play and do on this channel because I do any kind of videos or anything like that about it. There's too much to the game. And I'll be honest, I've played Fallout. I've played um, uh, several other games as well that are equally like that, but it's not something I broadcast around to kids and to families and stuff like that. So this is an easygoing game that we're playing here. When I say easygoing, it's not a whole lot of blood and guts. You're fighting machines for the most part. There is some fighting, things like that, but there's nothing that really gets beyond the family friendly, if you will. I like this to be rated E for everyone, if you will. So we keep the language to a, to a minimum, if at all. I don't like to promote speaking like that. So we just ask people to, you know, keep it clean while you're doing your uh, uh, chats in the comments section and stuff like that. Everybody slips. I get it. It's not a big, big deal. I'm not going to just kick you out because you uh, dropped a, uh, a cuss word one time or something along those lines. It's just... We try to keep it as clean as possible is what we try to do. Don't expect everybody to be able to do everything all the time. You know how it is, right? Oh, looks like we got another animal, finally. Wow, we're almost halfway. Isn't that something? So yeah, I expect to spend some time on this one, right? Flora, fauna dense, you say, huh? get up here. Hmm. Minor settlement. Yeah, could have landed there. Let's get this guy over here. Now, once you can get a usual, uh, usually like once you get the uh, them to befriend you. Let me just do something here. This is. There we go. So once they get the plus going, right? Okay, I don't know what happened there. There we go, right? And then you just shoot this. And usually what happens is they'll run away. That guy, I think he's just a little bit on the dense side. Doesn't quite figure out what in the world is going on. All right. Let's head towards this. Uh, oh, there's a couple more over here. Okay. Looks like we'll get both of those. Let's take another look real quick. I just want to see if there's anybody around. Looks like we finally got one of these flying creatures to show up. 
And what was that? That's number 7 out of 11. Okay, good. I'm, I'm assuming since this is a water planet, too, that we've got a lot of water creatures. And if you do that, there you go. So if you can get them to run away from you and then feed them again, you can get them again. So you can do that multiple times with all the creatures that you come across, if you wish. No harm in getting a little condensed carbon while we're here. See? So we've got the question mark, and as soon as he goes positive... Hello? No? I didn't get him? I don't think he can get the food. There it is. Okay, so you can hit him one time. And then feed him again. I charge that again. We seem to be going through a lot of that on our shields here. Are we going to check this guy? Yes, we are. Hey, look, a whole bunch of them here. Let's go ahead and get them all at the same time. Let me guess. Toxic rainstorm, just what we always wanted. Hmm, can't seem to get these guys anymore. How weird. Okay, we're up to 30. It's okay, we'll feed you again. An echolocator. Really, I need to know about echolocators right about now? Drop another piece of food. See if we can get him to come back. There we go. See, we got him back again. Put that down there. Let's see if we can get this going here. We're almost there. There we go. We'll drop some food down once he runs away. Probably going to run out of food soon. Wouldn't be surprised if we're out of food by now. Let's check. Yeah, we're out. What do you know? No? Alright, what are we up to? 36? There you go. Have some food, buddy. No. Boy, oh boy, these guys are tough. Okay, looks like we got another new one coming in. Alright, looks like we got a few over here. Let's see. Uh, looks like those are the really fast ones that are underground. We're not going to really get those. We'll go over here. Okay, that'll be 39. Looks like we got one already. Got a few more. We should start heading back to our ship so we can get ourselves out of here, but it really doesn't make a difference. I'm going to call my ship in no matter where it happens to be. Because as usual, I have misplaced my ship. That's okay. I'll find it later. This looks like a good spot. We can get some creatures to pop up. There's one right there. Three more. That's all I have. Three. Ah, there they are. There they are. Let's call in the ship. There we go. Mission complete. All right. And like I said, let's make sure we uh, watch the episode tomorrow night. Even if you don't get a chance to join us live, the uh, episode will be uh, re -record, will be recorded, of course, and we'll be broadcasting that later. So, all right. Let's get out of here. All right. So kind of a long mission. Fortunately, we don't have any aggressive sentinels or anything else to have to worry about. Uh, just says to return to the Nexus to receive our rewards. We don't have to do anything special here. 
Excellent. In we go. We're going to check a couple things while we're here, so let's take a little walk over here real quick. Let's complete our mission. We get our 1800 Quicksilver. We get the explosive drones, which are handy on your freighters when you send them out for missions. And we're going to take a look at our Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, see what exotic silver items are available. Looks like we have the Pyrotechnic Jetpack Trail is now available. Uh, the Plasma one is what I'm looking forward to, and the Fusion one. I really want to look forward to see what these are going to be like. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. If you want to see what it looks like, let's go ahead and change it real quick. Wish I could fly through the air, do a little thrust, jump thrust here, but we can't do it. So let's change that real quick. We're going to take a look at our, let's see here, not the cape. There we go. That's what it looks like. Oh, that is absolutely ridiculous. Festive is a bit crazy. Let's just go ahead and do it anyway so you can see it. That is hilarious. Um, it reminds me of my kids and having sparkles and glitter. Which we're still cleaning out of places I never thought we could ever see again, but that's okay. And there's our pyrotechnic jetpack. Let's see what that looks like when we actually are using it. <laughs> it's got fireworks that spurt out. That's hilarious. You know what? Just for the sake of ridiculousness, I'm going to go ahead and do that. It just does not go at all with the outfit, does it? <laughs> so, well, I hope you enjoy that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us and joining us for this uh, Anomaly Weekend mission here on September 29th. Thank you very much for being here, and we will see you all in the next video, and hopefully we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.